Have you ever heard of inflatable tanks? Well, during World Wars I and II, these inflatable dummies played a crucial role in military deception. In this captivating video, we'll take you back in time to explore the fascinating world of inflatable dummy tanks on the battlefields from 1918 to 1945. Get ready to uncover the secrets behind these ingenious creations and how they fooled the enemy. You won't believe the level of detail that went into making these inflatable tanks look as real as possible. From the bulldozers creating tank tracks to the tossing of real artillery shells around fake guns, every element was carefully designed to deceive. But what was the purpose of these inflatable dummies in a very real war? The answer is simple, to make the enemy believe they were facing a formidable force. Allied forces, including the British and the Germans, used these dummy tanks to their advantage. While the Germans deployed only a small number of real tanks, they constructed dummy tanks to potentially use them for training purposes. On the other hand, the Allied forces took military deception to a whole new level. They formed a specialized unit known as the Ghost Army, consisting of over 1,100 men. These skilled soldiers were capable of simulating two full divisions, with all the tanks and artillery that the real units might have. Imagine the impact this had on the enemy. But how did they pull off such a convincing illusion? The Ghost Army used three types of deception, visual, sonic, and radio. The visual deception was handled by the 603rd Camouflage Engineering Battalion, which was originally formed for large-scale camouflage. Their talented artists, architects, and designers turned their visual skills into a different kind of art. They painted inflatable rubber tanks that looked just like the real M, for Sherman tanks. But the deception didn't stop there. The Ghost Army also used sonic deception, thanks to the engineers from Bell Labs. They recorded sounds of various units onto sound effects records, which were played back with powerful amplifiers and speakers. The sounds could be heard up to 15 miles away, fooling the enemy into thinking there were large military units nearby. The combination of visual and sonic deception created a truly immersive experience. These inflatable dummy tanks were used in major operations, such as Operation Fortitude before the Normandy landings. They confused German intelligence by making it seem like the Allies had a much larger tank force than they actually did. And during Operation Shingle in Italy, inflatable Sherman tanks were deployed to divert attention from the real tanks. Even the Japanese used dummy tanks in the Pacific theater, crafting them out of wood and available materials. The ingenuity behind these inflatable dummy tanks is truly remarkable. They were not just giant balloons, but rather a clever design of inflatable tubes covered with rubberized canvas. This ensured that a single piece of shrapnel couldn't instantly deflate the entire dummy. Join us on this journey through history as we explore the incredible world of inflatable dummy tanks. Discover the impact they had on military strategy and how they played a crucial role in deceiving the enemy.